thankful to the coaching also the speed app actually i have seen the videos multiple times i have done gone through the mcqs and the grant tests so they were very good especially for the working people because we cannot study in very detail during the residency senior residency is also hectic so i bring in all the wishes and greetings and behalf of the entire speed team and the faculty of speed to dr anilika gupta for scoring a topmost rank of aml2 in mch gynec oncology session in ess november 2025 congratulations to you doctor thank you so much sir thank you great okay. so can we can we know your detailed background history from where you started and uh, uh, on date till date what all you have done yes sir so i joined mbbs in 2013 so i did mbbs from gmc yavatman which is in maharashtra and then i did externship from gmc nagpur and i always because i always wanted to do pg from a central institute like any other medico who my target was in delhi so i shifted to delhi and 2019 and to have a visual impact i visited aims in 2019 i started my preparation there for 6 months i prepared in delhi and then i cracked aims i got rank 36 and entered the obj department of aims delhi <laughs> in delhi sir yes sir in delhi i was lucky enough to be in part of the onco unit matlab from there i started my gynae onco interest uh, i was in unit of neerja batla ma'am she was my unit head in hori so there we were exposed to a lot of cases especially the onco cases we used to see the opd the ot and everything so in pg i decided i wanted to do gynae onco and then sir i did my sarship initially in gtb hospital delhi and then shifted back to my hometown in gorakhpur i did my sarship from aims gorakhpur and then because of the continuous interest there was a vacancy post in kgmc the gynae onco unit so i was lucky enough to enter the gynae onco unit i did 6 months of onco course and then finally sir i gave the exam and and the the mcs great gynae onco great great yes. accomplishment very good mm-hmm. and uh, can we know you were interest sh- started to gynae oncology when i mean when you are in the posting or with your mentor because i was in the onco unit sir and neerja ma'am she is a prestigious figure and she was in with me so i start i always wanted to be like her at least a part of me wanted to be somewhat like her because she is a very big figure in the in this field but maybe if i could achieve even 10% of what she is so i just wanted to be like her sure you do great in the onco field yes sir you will you will and uh, mm-hmm. can we know when she decided to do so what all you did and what all the preparation strategy I mean how you worked up on to get into this topmost rank yes sir so during the pg because aims is because aims they focus more on the academics matlab along with the clinical exposure they focus on the academics so in aims we usually read the standard textbooks we have mcs residents there so they teach us and we were all matlab we were asked to read the ncc and the figo guidelines so i was in touch with them in, from the initial period also during the sarship i did it more thorough i read the read the notes and it, then did the mcqs and i was more into the wanted to crack the exam for entering this matlab super speciality so when then i joined the coaching speed and then revdi ma'am was there because i have read figo then revdi ma'am i saw the videos of revdi ma'am so she has given very detailed videos on the figo updates especially focusing on each and in each and every line matlab she has made it very detailed so that every student can grasp it whatever is the important things and then the mcqs and the grant tests so speed was a great part of my preparatory phase so and also because i uh, did the preparation matlab along with my residency the junior and senior residency so i was not getting much of the time but uh, whatever after the duty hours were there i used to do the mcqs and see the videos on 2x or 1.5x speed so they used to keep me being revised yes sir great doctor mm-hmm. amazing now uh, can you mm-hmm. do something on the paper what did they ask you while their focus was and also about the interview preparation of interview and what is that they asked in the interview yes so in uh, i know so we know that majority of the questions for out of eight we have 80 mcqs so out of which 60 to 65 questions are from onco so they asked more of the clinical questions matlab the clinical aspect matlab if you know the theory and you have to apply like whatever and it was helpful for me because i was in the onco unit only in the recent last 6 months so they used to ask about matlab what is the case if they have operated a patient you got the final histopath report how will you decide if you have to give adjuvant or not so basically how to manage the patient treat the patient and what are the updates new adcs have come new guidelines have come figo was updated recently in 2025 so all those things sir and then uh, in interview they usually ask more of the practical aspect the clinical and theoretical part they cover in the matlab uh, mcq exam for interview they were more of like what are the research publications that you have done what are the research you have done yeah or any paper that you have published and the clinical exposure they usually ask they want to know if you have done any surgeries 
or the opd procedures yes sir in the scan and everything yes sir great mm-hmm. great now mm-hmm. what is the message that you want to give to students aspiring for mch kanakonko the thing is matlab you have to believe in yourself trust in yourself and also look for the vision because i i'm a true i believe in manifestation when i was in i was in 11th and 12th class i was just preparing for the medical i was not even knowing because i will do a mbbs or not but i used to write even in 11th class i used to write dr neelika gupta so that started from 11th and 12th class and it is still now before joining i was not able i was not knowing if i will crack aims delhi also so when i was in ug then also i used to write dr neelika gupta aims delhi and finally i made it in there but in this time also my wall paper and everything it was mentioned dr neelika md gaini from aims delhi and mch gaini onko from aims delhi so we have to feel it i was already planning i was thinking in my mind that i'll give my interviews in this way i was actually living it beforehand so i was matlab i think manifestation and believing in yourself is important and having the blessing and supports of the teachers the parents is also very important because at times you feel very low and when you are backed up by them so it feels encouraging and motivating so great great yes, doctor sir. now yes, i have to thank and whom all you want to thank that they helped you from day one till date to build your career till what you are today so i want to thank my parents my brother they have been my constant support and the backbone they were with me in every decision of mine i have made some decisions like uh, normally parents do not allow to take so they were with me i was lucky enough to have very nice teachers and mentors starting from the college the school the college the mbbs and everything and i am in touch with each and every one of them so i'm really blessed and thankful to the coaching also the speed up actually i have seen the videos multiple times i have done gone through the mcqs and the grand test so they were very good especially for the working people because we cannot study in very detail during the residency senior residency is also hectic so these things helped me so great doctor mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. once again wish you all the very best and all the success for an amazing and wonderful full fledged career mm-hmm. in sch gynecology best wishes to thank you thank you so much sir thank you so much sir thank you